Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unity tutorial series. Today we're going to go ahead and create a parallaxing background effect. Um, to do this you're going to need a graphic that parallaxes. You can find this one on our website along with the project that we're currently making. So to begin we're going to go ahead and create a quad. And we're going to position this quad that we can see it on the bottom of our screen. And then we're going to drag it in the scale of the X so that it fills up the whole screen. Uh, 16. And now we're going to drag our graphic onto it. Now the material, we're going to go ahead and change the shader from diffuse to transparent cutout diffuse. We're going to go ahead and create a light so that we can see better. And on our graphic, we want to make sure that the wrap mode is uh, repeat. Now we're going to need to go ahead and create a script. And this is going to be called Parallax. After the script is created, open it up in model develop. Alright, so the only thing we need to do in here to get a parallaxing effect is we need to access the renderer on our uh, game object and we want to access the material, the main texture offset, and this is a vector 2. And what this is going to do right now is we're going to access this field in here. Now, we don't care about the Y. We only care about the X. And we're going to go ahead and move this from time dot time over the elapsed time times uh, some speed. We'll call that 5 or 0.4. Okay, and so now if we play it, oh, we have to drag the script onto the game object. So go ahead and do that. And now it will parallax. So in order to make this script a little more expandable, we're going to go ahead and create a public int speed or a float speed. And set this to 0.4. Replace the speed here. And now you can modify this from your parallaxing background. Thanks for watching and we'll have a new video out in a couple of days.